Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Saturday, the 7th of September. It's 65 degrees out here, and it looks like it could rain at any moment. Although they say there's nothing for the next 120 minutes. So, let's, uh, let's go for a little ride on the, on the slim. How about that? Let's go do this thing. <laughs> Dog's all lounged out. All right. Well, it doesn't look like my, uh... Danny and Cooper absolutely love each other. Two peas in a pod and can't tell them apart half the time unless you can see the color of their collars. Let's take the old Slim Jim for a, for a little rip and hope we don't get wet. God, the humidity had dropped so down so low. Last night it felt great and it is through the roof. Alright, old Slim. It's been out here rumbling for a little bit. <coughs> No key. <laughs> yeah. All right, B, get away from me, buddy. All right. Let's go have some fun. See you here in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man. It's dark looking out here. I'll rely on the... I rely on the old weatherman there saying nothing's supposed to fall out, but you guys have seen how well that's worked out before. But at any rate, I'm getting a chance to ride the old slim. Oh, green light. So now that I'm sitting here waiting for a track or a train because the far track shows a, a green... Oh, there's a car parked down there with people standing there. Probably wondering what on God's green earth is this guy doing down here on that black hog? You know, them black CD motorcycles. But uh, in Portland this morning, uh, by the Alpine rail yard... But anyway, uh, a train derailed and... There's a, there's a street there, in, it's called Going, North Going. Uh, an engine, I think a couple engines and a, and a tanker derailed and slammed into one of the pylons holding the Going Street Bridge. And the bridge is just simply going over the, uh, over the railroad tracks. So I was thinking that uh, that may, may hurt this... Uh, hurt the tracks running by out here but uh seeing a green light's telling me otherwise so it'll be interesting to see oh i see the lights flashing down there it's coming yep she's coming around the tracks i see the lights at at the street on 506 flashing oh i see the lights on the track yeah buddy Look at that monster coming. I'm surprised how fast they can go around those turns. And I know they got the tracks all set in a way that they can handle that kind of stuff, but still these big old freighters. <laughs> but you know, that thing derailing in Portland, look how bright them lights are. That thing derailing in Portland sure gives, a, gives you another thought about being anywhere near these tracks sure you guys have seen derailed trains man it it spreads over a wide path let's get over here <laughs> you know in your mind you think i'll just run and get out of the way you ain't gonna do nothing you'd be a goner oh it's a coal train full of uh full of coal cars It's interesting that he doesn't uh doesn't honk, honk going across there. Ooh, let's not quiet them cars. Roll along there. Wow, the things are just smooth as glass. Probably because they're so freaking heavy, man. Them things you can see it on some of them bulging. Here comes the Endeavor. Got a pusher back there.
Does anybody ride in that back one? Is it all remotely controlled? Man, is that cool. Man, do I like the look of that thing. <laughs> oh, Harley, oh, Harley. <laughs> I just love that classic look of it. You're such a good looking gal. It doesn't hurt my back at all anymore. The seat is perfectly comfortable. I don't know what they got going on, if they got some kind of gel in there or what's going on, but seat's super comfortable. But uh, Eva, I just threw some riding pants on just in case I got sprinkled on. But uh, the things are nylon. They're like motocross. They're actually enduro pants of some sort. But uh, that old barn. But anyway, it's real slippery on the seat. And uh, I don't, I don't have that. It's not in my head that I'm gonna slide off the back anymore. So I am like 99% comfortable there. But that being said, I still have a Mustang on order. That doesn't mean I have to leave it on there. God, the brakes on this thing just freak me out. Keep expecting I gotta knot up on these things and drag my feet and stuff. <laughs> no, it actually kind of startles me. I mean, they bind down like hard. And I never, I just have my two on two. That's all I ride her with. Can I stand up on this thing? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. No, oh, I think there's people down. Oh, there is. Oh, they got a little campsite and stuff going on down there. Walter. Buddy. They named a street after you, sir. <laughs> Kelly and I have come through here before. Talked about it, I think. I haven't gone up here in a while. Let's just see what's going on up here. Look at the leaves all over the ground. I can't complain about, you know, the fall look coming anymore because, uh, man, that rain. Do you see that? Where it went across the road? It must have got dumped on on here. It's crazy how responsive this thing is. And... Oh no, and I do heavy on the oh no. It is misting on me. Oh, mama. Check that out. That's way cool. The old, the old gentleman driving it looks like he probably bought it when it was new. I shouldn't say that. That's not, that's not even nice. But he could have. And that would make it even way more special. So I don't mean that in a negative way, sir. Beautiful horse. What is... Oh, my coat's not zipped up all the way. Yeah, there's been something rattling on my helmet since I took off and just... I ain't gave it much thought. You lovely old gal. Yeah, she binds down like really hard. One disc, but it's got a great big old Brembo on there though. Of course it says Harley on it. It's an agreement between Harley and Brembo. Oh, wait a minute. That's not American. <laughs> well, neither are the shocks. World economy, man. If you don't accept it, just buy something really old. And that's cool too. You know, even though this is how I see Winlock probably more than than any other weather looking thing, it does seem weird to come down here and it be kind of dim looking like it is. Well, it's five o'clock, you know, between five and six is when the when the rain's supposed to kick up. 
guy in his car back here is gonna go, that guy, does he know that's a dirt road? He's taking that dirt, or street <laughs> down the dirt road. I mean to scare the heck out of that cat, but I sure did, didn't I? Yeah, it's pretty nice down here. Oh no, somebody's loading down there. I can't get through. Oh, what horrible timing. Yeah, and he's like waiting for somebody to come and load his stuff up. Oh well, we think, can't take our little shortcut through there like I want to. It even looks like he's blocking the road. Eh, I could have made it around, but it would have been close. He probably wouldn't like it. Lincoln turning down there. That was one of them big old gals. Oh, it just turned in front of me. It's amazing how many of the big old cars are still around. Just think, you could probably make five or six Honda cars out of the metal that's in that Lincoln. That hot rod Lincoln. Oh, he's turning up. I'll let him go. In case I want to go slow, I don't want somebody riding up on my hind end. Must be something going on down here. There's like people all over the place. I never put I never oh yeah they got a car wash going on I never put my uh, my glasses on for when I stopped at the that railroad crossing holy moly is that brighten it up all right so make sure I didn't lose my uh, lens cap nope she's still in there I guess I'm a the throttle is so sensitive on this thing. You feel like you're like, like you're, like she's going to buck you off. I like them when they're real sensitive like that. All right. Get some miles under our belt. Hey, boys and girls. All right. I'd uh, pull over and zip up my pockets. And, uh, Guess I'm gonna take some back roads here. Try to stay off the beaten highway. Try to minimize the uh taking my sunglasses fogged up. Not the face shield, just my sunglasses. But yeah, it's full on raining now. And uh the guys coming going west on 505 are passing me with the windshield wipers, and I can see down the hill, and the highway is just soaked. So uh you can stay on these uh, offbeat places here between trees and the lack of cars. You can uh, usually stay on some fairly dry road. And uh, I got to go south before I head uh, back east again. So hopefully I'll get on the other side of, uh, of this rain. This road is like really rough and this little slim, she's just, she's just taking it like a champ. Yeah, buddy. Never hits you hard. It's stiff enough, you know, it feels sporty, but soft enough, it don't hurt you. <laughs> so I've been, well, hey there, Gospador. I've been using that Formula F11 on everything, my face shield, you know and the helmets that that uh matte finish flat black whatever and flat silver so uh man that stuff works like a rain x when uh when it rains because i just i mean everything on the helmet i just cover it but uh that stuff works excuse me that stuff works so good 
I was a little, I didn't know, you know, all these advertising things, you know, it's like yada yada, whatever. And then, you know, people say, oh, well, you can wash it off. So what? Just put it right back on again. It didn't hurt nothing. But, uh, yeah, I'm super impressed with that stuff so far. I got lucky here, and so far, I haven't hit the rain. Why did that throttle resist? Responsive son of a gun. You know the lighting and stuff out here. Uh, it's just in my head to to watch for all the gravel, like all the time. It is absolutely amazing. I'm probably giving this thing maybe two percent throttle. It's just the craziest thing. man I live against them hills but it's farther east but it is pouring and I do mean pouring right there so even though I'm at a quarter of a tank and I would never leave this thing that low I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just bypass the gas station here and head on up the hill well, at least I got a ride in on the slim. Wow. Really didn't think that was going to happen today. Wish me luck. I got to head up the hill here and pray I don't get, oh yeah, and pray I don't get wet. I'm sorry, slim. You had to get to it sooner or later. With every bike, there must be some rain. <laughs> All right, we'll talk at y'all a little bit later. Hello there, YouTube. Still raining out there. She's all nice and wet. The uh, by the time I cause I always go inside, take all my stuff off, and come out and push whatever I rode in back in the shop, or leave it out there, cool off a little bit when we do the goodbye. Kelly comes in, she goes, hey, get that slim in quick. <laughs> Come out, it's pouring down rain. What we've seen, because it was moving west or east. And, uh, well, it made it here. I beat it, but I, it made it here. Anyway, the thing got soaked. And, uh, man, that Formula F11 just went out there with a, with a clean microfiber and just wiped it off. And it's weird, I wipe it off and it's like, whoop, it was just dry. It's not like the microfiber was soaking that much of it up. I mean, it does a good job, but... Yeah, it looks like brand new out there. I'm getting more and more impressed though. Really impressed with it since I just like sprayed everything with it on the iron or the slim. Heck yeah, man. I'm a I'm a huge supporter. I used to use it on her I used it on my street glide a couple of times, but it didn't help the bugs stick into it. It just stuck like anything else. I'd just use whatever was handy, you know. Usually like the Honda polish or something like that. But um yeah, I'm impressed. Nothing stuck to the slim, even the bugs and where they got a little wet because it did get wet riding it and it just everything just wiped right off. It's great, very cool. <laughs> so anyway, the rain has come. Man, I think it's supposed to. Sorry about that. Leo shot off and got us caught up in his cable. <laughs> yeah, not good. But anyway, I think we're gonna call it at that. I did a lot of recording today. I'm at the split, I'm gonna do all kinds of stuff with that. So. Y'all, none of that's important to you. You just get some videos. You'll out. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Yep. Almost lost track. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ryan and uh, Michaela made it to Hawaii safe and sound. Yeah. Looks like that they got it rented a house and oh, rented a. Have so much fun brand new Chevy Camaro convertible and that oh boy them two are gonna have a ball yes they are <laughs> all right all right you guys take care we'll talk to you tomorrow thanks for watching now bye-bye